40 books. I read seven. Most of those were from like last semester. Hi, welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about my goals for 2020. New year, say me, but we're gonna fix that. So let's just get right into the video. Put your hand I made a video on my other channel that was deleted about my goals for 2019 and I wanted to compare them but I didn't watch the video but I do I do have like at least 10 of the goals I said I feel like I said in my old bullet journal so I have my goals for 2018 here my goals for 2020 here and I want to like compare it to and kind of talk about what I did and what I didn't do in 2019 and what I want to do for 2020 so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today I didn't do a lot in 2018, mostly mentally, but it's for a good cause, I think. But no, seriously, I do believe I've been a better Christian, mostly like the last month of the year, which is kind of bad, but I mean, I've been working on it. Like, I've been cursing a lot less, and I've been trying to read the Bible more, and I've just been like more just trusting and just like, you know what, if it's not meant to happen, then it's not meant to happen, and just move on from it. So I would say that is a check on that goal, and let's move on. I would also say I did focus on my hobbies because I was I spent like a solid like week writing a script about something that happened in my life that was kind of like sad to me. Well not really sad but something that just happened that was just like a wow I didn't know this would happen. I didn't finish it but I might go back to it and finish it because it was really easy to write because people say when you want to write something write about what you know and I know about it because it actually happened to me so it was really easy just a flowing of the script and I was trying to make it like creative but what I was doing with the making it fictional so that way people wouldn't be able to tell it was me so i would say that is a check on that i read seven most of those were from like last semester whenever i think of reading i did attempt to start reading i was reading a book on my shelf and i was starting to read it and i was reading like i read one day for like an hour and a half and i read like 90 pages or like i read for two hours and i read like 90 pages or something and i was like okay i'm gonna try to read 90 pages a day and then that was the last day i read that book for the entire year so that flopped during my breaks, I often feel like I'm more motivated. Not more motivated, but like I have more time to film and edit videos, which is true because I'm not focused on anything but YouTube. Whenever I'm in school, I kind of just slack off and just forget, not forget about YouTube, but I just don't make a schedule to where I can do YouTube and school at the same time because I have a roommate in my, in my school. So it's like I can't film that many videos in my room besides the few time slots that I have when she's not in the room that I'm in the room. So I do a lot of sit down videos sometimes and I could do talking videos because I talk a lot but i would like to do videos like that but then i have to think of videos to like talk what topics to talk about and then i want to do videos where i vlog with my friends but i have to find people that like want to vlog with me because like, i have one friend that likes it doesn't mind being in front of the camera and one friend that doesn't mind being in front of the camera so then i have to figure out like what i'm doing and like it's just a whole bunch of stuff that i have to figure out so yeah so when it comes to school it like it's a struggle to balance youtube and school at the same time so i guess as a goal i'm still working on this is a goal that I should just have for every year because it's like once I do it for one year, I shouldn't be like, okay, 2018, I stopped this. Now I can compare myself again. I put this goal for a mental state to like get myself to not be like so down on myself about a lot of stuff, comparing myself to other people because everyone has a different journey. So I have to stop being like, oh, they're my age and they're already doing this. Or like they're younger than me and they're doing this. Or like they're only two years older than me and they're doing this. And like, like people's success, everyone's success is different. So that's why I mostly put that goal and it has been working for sometimes I slip up but like that's just a human thing so like I'm pretty sure I did good on that so I would put a check for that and to continue that goal for this year as well I was doing that in the beginning of the year where I was I started to go to movies by myself like I love going to movie theaters like going to movie theaters to see movies I actually want to watch sometimes I can't find people to come with me or like I can't find the time to go to the movie so I would just say if I want to see a movie and no one goes with me I'll just go by myself and just enjoy myself I went to see five feet apart by myself last year five feet apart that is such a romantic movie that i saw by myself because i really wanted to see it and that was the last day i could see it so i was like i'd rather see it by myself than never see it and be mad that i missed out on seeing it and i saw it at my school so it wasn't that much of a walk from my dorm so my legs are hurting oh. 
anyway spend more time with myself that's also like being able to go out in public by myself without feeling like people are judging me because I have this terrible thing where I just think that every time when I go outside because someone looks at me they're automatically judging me or like they have something to say about me like if I want to wear a certain outfit and I've been debating about it for a while I'll like finally have the confidence to wear that outfit and I'll go outside and someone could just someone could just look at me regularly and then I'll think they're judging me because of the outfit that I picked and now I knew this was gonna be bad and this was a bad idea I have that thought a lot not only just for what I wish in general of like being scared to be out in public and doing things like vlogging in public because I don't want people to look at me and judge me in front of my face and behind my back I just don't like people's judgments I'm like terrified of like open judgment like when they're looking at you and judging you I don't like that it makes me very uncomfortable so I, I try to do my best ability to just avoid doing anything that makes people want to judge me called a fake Puerto Rican a fake Hispanic for like how many eons I don't know but I I I have a lot of Hispanic friends and I don't know a lick of Spanish mostly because no one taught me Spanish and I don't even know if I am Spanish or not but we will find out in 23 and me or ancestry.com or something I will figure it out eventually what I am because I know I'm black and I'm possibly mixed with other things I just don't know what it is so I've been saying I'm black and Puerto Rican for the past like maybe three years and like, I could be right but I could also be wrong but that's information I was given so it's not my fault I'm wrong anyway moving on I want to read the Bible because I want to be a better Christian, so let's move on from that. I see what my body is capable of. I can have that flat stomach and just tone body. I just like work for it. And I work for it, but then I also have to eat healthier because you can work out all you want, but if your diet doesn't change, your body's not going to see any results. So I want to eat healthier and exercise more. I got my license last summer of 2018, so I want to get a car now. I want to save up and hopefully by my senior year, no, by my senior year of college, I'm going to have a car. I want to have a car because it'll be more convenient for when I had to move in and move out of school. And also to have a car in school because I go to school in New Paltz and that's upstate New York. You need a car when you're upstate New York. You can't, it's not the city where you have MTA. Like they have public transportation, but it sucks. It's so bad. So like I need, I need a car. So anyway, moving on. Pay it off, basically. Everyone needs to be positive every year. That's like an ongoing goal for me. Because I start scripts and I don't finish them, so I want to finish writing one officially. I often have these times where I just have random breakdowns of just me thinking about a past memory and then like thinking about how like, it affected me and then how like it still affects me now and then like I either am like talking about it for an hour to myself and then I get sad about it but then I get over it because I talk about it and I move on then after that I forget about it until like it randomly pops up again because the thing is that when I try to write about it I forget I don't even know how I felt about it until it randomly pops up in my head so I'm gonna try to write them down so I can remember how like I felt about it and hopefully discuss about it to people and like get over it finally so yeah anyway moving on try to control my angle my angle I also realized 2018 I was starting to get upset a little bit quicker about a lot of things and like I usually I don't get like there was one time in 2018 I think towards the last few months where I like got really upset I don't like to get angry because when I get angry I like to break and hit things and I don't want to have to do that because that's not good I one point was really upset so I wrote out my feelings and it was really really aggressive so I was like I'm glad I wrote it out rather than like just punching things but then there was another time when I was upset and then I was in school so I was punching I was banging my hand on my desk so my neighbors probably thought I was crazy but I was very upset so I was banging on my desk and I could have like broke something but I didn't thank god without being rude because I tend to just I have an opinion about something but I keep it to myself because I'm like this is gonna cause an argument I don't want to argue with this person but I have to just like sometimes just let the argument happen because then I can just like tell the person about themselves let them be aware of what they're doing so that way maybe they won't do it again hopefully they listen I said this many times I'm trying to graduate early and technically I'm supposed to graduate this fall so fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed and prayers answer that I graduate in the fall of 2020 so I can start my master's in 2021 
didn't even realize I was judging myself so harshly last year, but I guess I was because I try to stop being judgmental on other people, but then I realized the less judgmental I was being on other people, the more judgmental I was being on myself, which is kind of crazy, but I'm gonna work on that. So yeah, that's the last goal. I do have other goals, but I mean, there's 20 goals in here and I read like 16 of them, so that's enough. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was just me talking about my goals and kind of summing up 2019. 2018 wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. It was okay. It was okay. And that's fine. But 2020 is my year because I am going out the country for the first time ever. Like, I've never been on a plane. I've never been to another country. So I'm going out the country. And I'm going on the plane, obviously, because that's how I'm going to get there. But I'm going out the country for the first time. I'm turning 21 this year. Like, ew. But, like, also nice because I'm blessed to have another year in my life. But, yeah, I'm turning 21 this year. And also, I'm going to graduate this year. Fingers praying that I graduate this year. So, yeah, three amazing things things happening in 2020 so this is gonna be my year that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel because this is a new channel so please subscribe um my instagram and twitter and snapchat will be linked down below if you want to follow me and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye hey. oh my gosh okay not doing that again that was low-key scary hi Hello, welcome back. So, in today's video, I'm pretty far, aren't I? Okay. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Anyway, a book on my shelf, and, um, that's it today for this video.